Good afternoon. I am going to do a haul. It is not a store haul. It is stamps of approval haul. And I hope that you guys can hear me. There it is. She's in Durham. That's me. Of course, everybody covers their address, so I covered mine. Alrighty. I already opened the uh, outside envelope. I just ordered this as soon as I could because I belong to the Stamps of Approval um, Club. Yeah, I guess you call it a club. And um, I have gotten three, two, two of their boxes before, but this is something new. Catherine Pooler has designed a foundations kit that will be in her store um, for the foreseeable future. So anyone can get this at any time. I do think, I don't know if you have to belong to the stamps of approval to get this. I kind of doubt it. But anyway, the price was right. It is, um, I kind of parsed it out a little bit. Like how much would this be, this be, and this be. And um, I really think that this is a good value for what you're getting. So let's open it up. It, once, you know, it opens pretty easy because it was in the priority mail envelope. And believe it or not, I actually smelled it while I was in the car because I got this before I went to pick up my grandkids and I was just like, I got to sniff it because I wanted to do a complete unboxing and I did not want, um, I didn't want the kids to see me fooling around with stuff. Very nicely packaged. Here is the lovely pink, the lovely, lovely pink tissue. I will reuse this. Oh, she's putting in sweet little, um, cards now. I don't think that was in the package I got last. My stamps of approval. Look at that. Neato. And there's her hands and the inks and stuff. How nice. How nice. I am beyond thrilled to introduce you to the Catherine Pooler collection of ink pads. Wow. And um, she talks about how wonderful the ink pads are, how easy they are to use. Wow. You can emboss with them, guys. I don't know if I'm going to try anything out. I might... Um, reach for a piece of paper real quick and just, um, actually, I've got a piece right here. <sighs> okay, this is not really quality paper. This is like 25 something. Mm. Let's see. Oh, I have a piece of watercolor. Just a little piece. I might, I might just do something. Woohoo. Okay. So that was the card. <gasps> here it is. Okay. Yesterday I read about this. This is a company in Rwanda who, um, I guess you could say Catherine is kind of just making sure that she gives them her business. But we, you, whoever gets this box, you don't have to pay for this. This is a bracelet made of paper beads. Go check out her YouTube channel. She was overwhelmed with um, just joy about being able to help this company out because um, it's Rwandan women. And... Um, I don't know if any of you know, but wow, Hotel Rwanda was a fantastic movie some years ago that I believe even won a couple of Oscars about the genocide that took place in that country. I just cannot even fathom um, how sad it must have been. What a sad time it must have been for them. So my bracelet looks like corals, and it's got little gold beads, and it's stretchy. Wow. I love the color. And I will definitely be wearing this. And how cute that they attached it with a little bow. And the story. Oh, Catherine wrote a beautiful little piece in here about, um, about the women and about the bracelet. So what a nice touch. I mean, you know, most companies just give you an extra stamp. That's truly a nice touch. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you so much. I will wear that and think of you as well as the Rwandan people. All right, and here we go. Although she focused a lot on her um, inks. She's also given us some foundational um, stamps to stamp with. I have been seeing amazing cards. My style, because they are a bit on the clean and simple style, and that is the style I'm most comfortable with, although every now and then I get a little fussy fussy, but not usually. So we've got some really nice words here. I'll just read you some of them. Thinking of you, you're amazing. Just because. 
you're my very favorite. I think I read them all. How nice we have this um, banner that I believe some of these can go in. And flowers, just nice general flowers. Cool, cool. All right, put that over there. And here is stamp set number three. I saw them really working with this border edge a lot on the blog hops. And I love that every font, this is not just one font, guys. This is at least three different fonts. So, three different fonts, and that's really pretty. Grandma's videoing, so you have to wait. Um, let's see, so let's see. So we have these, and we have these dots. That's really neat, really neat. I don't know, do these have names on them? Uh, let's see, oh, Catherine mentioned how much she loves circles, so she's using circles a lot here. In one we have happy, another wishes, another congrats, and um, this is basically like a birthday congratulations, well wishes, little present, lots of possibilities with this. Each one is not named either, Angelica Suarez. Oh, okay, Catherine sourced these out, it looks like. Illustrated by Angelica Suarez. How nice. How nice. That means, yeah, that means someone else can can reap the benefits of um, being able to um, sell these. Wow, wow. Love it. All right, here's a little blurb about the foundation's kit. Timeless, that's the word. Designed with timeless products that you will reach for time and time again. The foundation's box is going to be the cornerstone of your craft room. I tell you, if I had had this when I first started stamping, wow, 15 years ago, just about, a little less, wow. I, I This just would have been perfect for me. Just perfect. So that's really nice, too. Cardstock. This is 100 brightness, 100 pound weight. The brightness I get and the weight... I don't know that I've ever worked with 100. I'm like 65 and then 110 for my bases. But um, how nice. Just again, just part of a starter kit. 30 sheets made in the USA, guys. Cool beans. And of course, they're already pre-scored. And they're your standard A2 size. And the piece de resistance. Oh, look at that. Here they go. Grass skirt. How cute. That's the green. I love the names. Orange Twist and Rock and Red and Fiesta Blue and Midnight. Now, I love to try new lines of ink, but I do get a bit <clears throat> growly when refills are not available. So I did send a comment, question to Catherine. Um, was she going to provide refills? And she was honest and did say that kind of depends on what the, um, what we do as consumers. If we probably, I'm, I'm thinking she's got a number of foundation boxes she wants to sell and if they all get sold, she can then assume that she could have a lot of refills, a lot as in quote, you know, one or two lots per color um, made up. So I love refills. And these don't even say conform to, they do have a number 16320, but I don't know what that, and it does say midnight, but you know, we don't know if we can find that kind of thing. She is claiming that these are extremely special inks. If you go and check out her video, you're going to see that. So I think we'll just start. Let's do a color. Black, I mean, you know, black. Black is black. What are you going to do, right? What, do you need something? Finish? No, okay. I have a little granddaughter here who's checking me out. But I want to finish this. Because I don't know how to restart again. Okay. Fiesta Blue. We're going to close this up. This is a keeper box. I'm not quite sure how long, but it is. And we're going to get... I don't know that she's done watercolor paper, guys, so I'm taking a chance here. But let's see what happens. I'm going to do it on the smooth side. Wow, look at that. It's definitely that... Um, it's not that felt. It's more of a foam. And it's got a little bit of an odor, but it's an ink odor. 
you know, and hosts, I mean, it's not like it's a leather planner or, you know, traveler's notebook, so you're not going to be throwing it at your... <gasps> Guess what? I forgot. There was something else in there. And the reason I forgot is because I've got quite a few of these, so I didn't think of it. But this, oh, how nice that someone would think to give us a um, block from which, which to use. And Catherine did say that every stamp that's in the kit fits on here. How cool is that, that she thought about that? I just think that's neat. So it's an acrylic block, of course, and got a nice wedge so that, boom, you can hold it and just zoom down. Don't think it makes any difference which is top and bottom, which is good. So we won't worry about that. All right, let's see. Got to go back and get a stamp. What should I get? What should I get? How many minutes? Do oh, I'm over 10 minutes. I don't think this thing loves you after 10, 10 minutes. So I will just do, let's just do this quick. Maybe it'll give me 15 minutes since I have been using it a little bit more than 10. I mean, I've, I've made about seven videos now. All right, so nice and easy to peel off. There's the um, picture. So when you put it back, you can put it right on there. Slip it back in. I will probably be re put, putting these in. Um, they're a nice, good standard size. So I'll get them those Avery L, whatchamacallit's storage packets that um, are well used. Okay, I understand they're very juicy. So I'm not gonna pre-do anything. Sometimes I do, but these, okay, I got a lot of ink right there. So it'll take a little practice. Not gonna worry about it right now because I'm not gonna press that hard. Let me, let me just do it a little bit more. Okay, all right. I would imagine that, you know, you have to give it a little Got to give her a little break, the first one. Might come out a little bit splotchy. And again, this is watercolor paper. I'm not going to bore you with... Yeah, a little bit splotchy. Oh, look at the little star. But I think I just need to... Um, need a little practice. And this is watercolor paper. I don't think she recommends that we do it in watercolor paper. Okay. I'm going to go all the way around. Oh, that's much better much better. All right, I'm going to do one more just for the heck of it. And then I'm going to clean this off and end this video. And I'm going to give you a recommendation that you um, check out her videos. And if you are so led, you can always use beautiful colors. You can always use a new block. And we love stamps. So I'm going to do one more. I like the block. It's really nice. And it's a clear stamp, and I should probably be using something cushiony underneath, and I'm not, so this is not a fair, fair test. It's beautiful blue. Beautiful blue. All right, guys, I'm going to go clean everything up, and I think I'm going to really enjoy these and um, be making quite a few cards. Everybody have a good weekend, and uh, for those of you planning on making a turkey, start getting your dinner menus all set. That's what I'm going to be doing this weekend. And um, take care. Bye.